This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. And welcome to the program. I am Roby Brock. We're glad to have you with us. I'm joined by Talk Business and Politics' Wes Brown. Normally mm. we talk business and politics. Mm -hmm, We're yeah. going to go a lot heavier on the politics go today. politics buddy. today. So. Put that hat on. Hey, put the political hat on, man. I'm ready. All I'm right. Ready. Let's begin with uh, the, one of the big political stories of this week. Jonesboro had a special 1% sales tax increase election. It failed by about 200 votes out of almost 10,000 cast. Really, really competitive mm. election up there. Mm -hmm. uh, it was to fund more police and fire departments, uh, as well as some quality of life and amenities. Do you think we will see some 2.0 version of this. Yeah, I, I do because of the needs in, in that area. Uh, like you said, there was a, a really competitive vote, but uh, a low turnout. And I, I think, uh, I think uh, the group that's behind this called Team Jonesboro, they may have a little bit more uh, education to do, a little bit more pro promotional effort, but I, I do think that'll be back around specifically because of the uh, just frenetic growth in that area. Uh, you've got uh, 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 the University, Arkansas State University, and just the, the whole region, it, it's a, a, a manufacturing uh, center for the, for the state of Arkansas, and plus you, you always have the agri and farming community. Mm -hmm. uh, you, it's still got that uh, strong growth in that area, so you're going to need that for, basically for infrastructure and for, like you said, the needs of the community yeah. uh, as this community continues to, to grow. attract more younger people uh, mm -hmm. to either stay there when they graduate or to migrate there from the region as a whole. Yeah, definitely. I would say I was up in Jonesboro on Tuesday for our uh, Women in Business Awards ceremony, mm -hmm. which was fantastic, and uh, congratulations to all those members again yeah. as well. Uh, that was the night of the vote, so mm -hmm. there were some disappointed people mm -hmm. that I was talking to. But yeah. I'll say this. You, you obviously had a little over 49% supported mm -hmm. uh, the measure there. Of that 51% that opposed, they were not all opposed to every part of it. So yeah. there is a majority there that supports doing something. Mm -hmm. They just got to find out what yeah, that something is. Yeah, and I is. think, I, 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 like I said, I don't think there was a good job of, of, of educating the public about about the needs. And, and, and there was some lack of specifics that were uh, in, you know, in, uh, kind of ahead of, of the vote. And I, I think, like you said, the, the, in that 51% people wanted to know a little bit more about where this Two hundred million dollars would would be going. Uh, mm -hmm. in, in, you there, know. there were some details that were spelled out, but mm -hmm. that still didn't quell some of the questions. Y yeah, yeah. Thing, and so. I, I, anytime you have a, a, a tax a referendum, yeah. it, it, they, they are difficult because people don't want to be taxed. That's right. true. All right. All right. Let's uh, let's talk about the fact that we are starting to see some announcements for mm -hmm. political races in the mm -hmm. state of Arkansas earlier than normal. Yeah. And uh, there is a reason for that. I'm because... getting a lot in my inbox, and I'm ignoring <laughs> a lot of them too. Uh, early uh, filing period is earlier this year because the primaries are earlier this year. Right. Why is that? It's to kind of match it up with, with the, uh, the, uh, the national races and, and the, the presidential primaries. And, and uh, uh, I think a lot of people hate to, to the fact that they have to go to the, to the polls more than once. Uh, when you can have all these candidates on one ticket uh, uh, and be able to go in the poll at one time, it, 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 I, I think it, it, it better look at the Jonesboro election, you know, when they're held on in, in a, on an isolated time, it's difficult to get people out to the polls. But what drives the election is when you have these big races and, and, and those down tickets, you, you, you get people out to the yeah. polls to vote. We've got, uh, let's see, one U.S. Senate race. Obviously, mm. the presidential will be big, but mm. uh, the Senate race, we've got the four congressional seats. We've got 17 state Senate seats that right. will be up this time around mm -hmm. and all 100 House seats. Mm. A ton of judicial races yeah, this time is. around, yeah. too. There's been some new judgeships, yeah. and there's a lot of retirements going yeah. on. Yeah, and, and I think you're going to see, I think even one, one of our... Uh, Representative said she's going to run for a, for a judge. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so I think, yeah, you're going to hear a lot of interest, and I think the Democratic Party is is revving up to try to uh, to, to to get get it back in the game a little bit uh, uh, and and get some key key wins like it did last time incrementally. But but still, you know, I think it's still the Republican parties to to lose. They yeah. still have the strength in the state of Arkansas. There's it, this state will stay. Republican Red. super majority <laughs> yeah, in 2020. I it, make a prediction on yeah, that one right now. That, that's not a hard prediction. So let's talk about one of the House Republicans right now. Representative Mickey Gates coming mm -hmm. under a lot of fire. Uh, he pleaded no contest to not paying income taxes over a multi-year period. He's not mm -hmm. done with all that legal process yet. Um, I asked John Brummett about this in an interview earlier this week, and here's what he had to say. Uh, what are the chances of, of, of this of, of expelling Gates? Good. I don't think uh, Matthew Shepard 
I've interviewed him, done a piece for your magazine. And, and the joke was, he's just, not the joke, just the, the thing about him is he's just notoriously cautious. And he will not move unless he's got things lined up. And he's very, very judicious in his thinking. And when, that, when I saw that he'd issued this letter, two things were immediately obvious to me. He's found a law that's pretty clearly applicable, and there is. It pl simply says, you plead no, no contest, uh, you, you cannot serve. Well, okay, yeah. you got that. Two is, he's lined up the votes. Now, whether he has or not, I think that he has. And instantly, you had uh, uh, legislators, uh, not legislators, you had Governor Hutchinson supporting him instantly. You know, I just think, I think the likelihood is, is strong that uh, unless he chooses to resign in advance of expulsion, He'll be expelled. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th I think so. Uh, for reasons that, under this statute, would seem to be evident. And uh, that's what I expect to happen. All right. So John Brummett obviously thinks that Speaker Matthew Shepard has done a pretty good job mm -hmm. of researching the law and probably lining up the votes to make sure. Yeah, that I'm this sure he or, probably yeah, has He's the a votes. cautious guy. Yeah. Um, do you think he'll be successful? Y yeah, I, I, I do. Uh, 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 I'll I'll read one of the quotes that, that uh, Shepard said. He said, it's sad it has come to a resolution, but we must abide by the laws we passed and uphold uh, for the trust of the people of Arkansas. Uh, uh, I think that's the issue because that trust issue has been the issue at the state capitol for a while with, uh, connected to the, 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 the probes that have been going on on corruption and bribery. And I think the, the speaker just wants these kind of issues to to, to, you know, to be pushed aside and to focus on the issues. And you got a, a, a fiscal session coming up and those tax issues, those budget issues uh, are going to be coming up and that would be a distraction in, in that, uh, during that session. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm not going to put you on the spot today for prediction, but will we see a special session on the back end of that fiscal session? We've seen them before. I think we got to keep our eye out. For yeah, that. I, I do think there's there's a lot of a lot of big issues out there that that may come <laughs> to uh, uh, come to speed. All right, he's Wes Brown with we'll Talk Business and Politics. You can catch him daily reporting on business, politics, and the intersection of business and politics. And politics all right. Thank you, Wes. Appreciate uh -huh. it. We're back with more right after this.